Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our third lesson on airframes, engines, and systems. We will be discussing fuel injection. The fuel injection system has the same objectives as the carburetor. However, it operates on a different principle. The objectives of the carburetor, of course, is to meter the correct amount of fuel and air into the engine at the correct ratio and the correct quantities. Some advantages of the fuel injection system over a carburetor are more uniform fuel distribution, better cooling, better fuel economy, and no carburetor icing. The disadvantages are more are a higher cost and more complexity. Fuel injected engines are generally found on higher performance aircraft. If you recall from the carburetor, we have a bulk amount of fuel being added to a bulk amount of air, and that gets distributed to the intake manifold. A fuel injection system operates slightly differently. Fuel is sprayed into the individual intake manifolds or cylinders. This is what allows for the more equal fuel distribution compared to the carburetor. The way a fuel injection system works is a supply pump fills a reservoir in the fuel injection unit and the fuel control connected to the throttle controls the fuel distributor. The fuel is then sprayed directly into the intake manifold. If we see here on the right hand side, fuel comes in from the uh, fuel tanks. There is a both a mechanical fuel pump as well as a electric fuel pump as an emergency backup. This puts pressurized fuel into the fuel control unit and then there is a throttle body controlling the amount of air going to the intake manifold. This throttle is also controlled, controlling the amount of fuel that goes to the fuel distributor right here and into the fuel injectors in each individual cylinder. One of the major advantages of the fuel injection system compared to the carburetor is that it's highly unlikely that you will get any sort of icing. The reason for that is because there is no venturi that reduces the temperature of the uh, fuel uh, air mixture in the uh, engine. However, there's a, still a potential for impact icing. If you were to get icing onto the fuel, uh, fil or sorry, onto the air filter, you could end up uh, starving the engine of air. This is highly unlikely though. If this happens though, some aircraft have alternate air intakes. Uh, this is one right here. You can see a cable that goes to the pilot's control right here. And this would open right up and allow alternate air from inside the engine uh, in case the air filter was blocked. The fuel injection system has advantages of more even fuel distribution resulting in better fuel economy, no carburetor icing. Its disadvantages are cost and complexity. Sample question, what is the most likely temperature to get fuel injection ice? A, fuel injection engines rarely get ice. Well, that's the correct answer. Uh, let's continue reading, see if there's anything more correct. High relative humidity and cool temperatures? Nope, that's when we get carburetor ice. C, cold temperatures? Nope. D, when the OAT is within five degrees of the fuel temperature? Nope, that uh, doesn't come up, up anywhere. That concludes our lesson on the fuel injection system. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in our next lesson.